Guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about how to fix iPhone black screen. So, your iPhone screen went black but the phone is still on. Your friend gives you a call and the phone is ringing and vibrating, though the screen has blacked out. You can hear the charging sound and vibrations when you plug it into a power to do a charge. You press buttons and swipe screen. However, it won't respond to anything and the screen stays black and blank. Yes, it seems like an iPhone black screen of death issue if this is your case. Keep watching and we'll show you how to fix iPhone black screen but still on. First, let's quickly go through some scenarios that most users in the Apple discussions community might encounter when the iPhone screen goes black. You're using an iPhone and the screen goes black all of a sudden and won't turn on. iPhone often keeps being stuck on a black screen during a call. You know it's still working because it makes the sound and gets the message. iPhone screen went black but still works after iOS update. Charge iPhone overnight and its screen turns black in the morning. You have an iPhone black screen showing a spinning wheel or stuck with the Apple logo and won't come on. Next, let's take a look at why your iPhone screen is black but still on. There are many things to consider when it comes to what causes the iPhone's black screen, including issues with software or hardware. Here are a few of them. A system error. Incomplete iOS update installation. This is a common reason why your iPhone suddenly blacks out during the update process. Defective app. Get into DFU mode. Maybe you mistakenly press buttons and enter DFU mode, where iPhone will display a black screen. Power supply problems. When your phone has zero power, it's normal to see only a black screen on your device. Overheating. A broken display. A cracked screen led by dropping or wetting tends to cause an iPhone screen to go black because the LCD screen or the internal components have been damaged. Now, in the following, we'll show you how to fix iPhone screen black but still working problem. You don't have to rush to the Apple repair store and replace the screen. Instead, there are many troubleshooting steps you can try at home to get the screen to come back on don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step making it easy to learn how to troubleshoot your iPhone's black screen of death by yourself. Besides, if you have any questions about attempting these tricks, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. The first solution is to charge iPhone. If your iPhone blacked out when the battery percentage is at 1% to 10%, it's likely a problem with the drained battery. Grab an Apple USB cable and plug it into your iPhone. Connect the other end of the USB cable to an Apple power adapter. Then, insert the power adapter into a wall power outlet firmly. Charge your iPhone for 30 minutes. Check if the black screen comes on and the red battery icon shows up. If yes, your iPhone will be turning on soon and go back to normal status. If not, try another lightning cable and charger that you've tested to be working normally to charge an iPhone. If you see the iPhone screen remains black but the phone works as you can hear the charging sound and feel the vibration, move to the next solution to force restart your iPhone. The second solution is to force restart iPhone. Yes, sometimes when your iPhone screen turns black but it's still working, all you need is to do a force restart. You'd be surprised how often a forced restart is all that's needed to fix a host of problems on iPhone. It's quick, simple, and best of all, can be done without a computer. Here's how to force restart an iPhone to fix black screen of death. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. Now, you should get out of the frozen black screen and return everything to normal. The third solution is to delete buggy apps. In some cases, you might notice that your iPhone keeps getting stuck on a black every time you open one or more specific apps. Smart as you must have known it's the culprit that causes your screen to go black. Usually, this kind of black screen problem can be easily fixed by doing a forced restart. Do it first, and after you have access to the phone home screen, go and find the apps in problem. Press and hold the app icon. Tap remove app. Tap delete app. Tap delete to confirm. 
Repeat the steps until you delete all the apps you suspect for the black screen iPhone issue. The fourth solution is to update iPhone. When your iPhone is running an outdated iOS system version, errors can occur. And iPhone screen black but on is one of them. To fix it, put your iPhone into recovery mode and update your iPhone using a computer. To save your time, do the preparation work first. Get a working USB cable. Get a Windows or a Mac laptop or desktop. Download iTunes or Finder application on your computer. Get your black screen iPhone. Once you've prepared everything, let's start. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Depending on your iPhone model, you'll need to follow different steps to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Choose the update option to download and install the latest available iOS version. The process might take a very long time, but it's worth it. Once done, let your iPhone restart. The fifth solution is to factory reset iPhone. iPhone screen is still blacking out after update? You'll have no choice but do a factory reset. Same as updating your iPhone, put it into recovery mode and reset it using iTunes or Finder. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. For my iPhone 11, I'll need to press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. Now, when you see this dialog box on your computer, choose the restore option to erase all data and settings on your iPhone and restore it to its factory settings. Wait for the restore process to complete. Maybe one hour, maybe three hours. After the restore is complete, your iPhone should restart and prompt you to go through the initial setup process. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up your device. Hopefully, the iPhone black screen of death should be fixed. The sixth solution is to contact Apple. If the iPhone screen going black problem persists or reoccurs after these steps, it could be a more critical problem. At this point, go to an Apple storage in search of repair. Make sure to see if your iPhone is still covered by an Apple Care plan or Apple's limited warranty. If it is, then the repair might be free, or it'll be at your own expense. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone screen black but still on our black screen of death problem. We sincerely hope that the troubleshooting steps we've shared have been effective in resolving your issue. Remember, if you ever encounter any issues with your iPhone or any other device, don't hesitate to seek help in Quora Radar. There are plenty of video resources available to you. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.